Dr. Holmes, you took out a part of Jody's brain, <laughs> okay? And Jody, you say that your personality changed after surgery. Tell us about that. Yeah, I mean, there were some obvious changes right away. I noticed that I was a lot more talkative. I, mm -hmm. I mean, a week after surgery, I was having trouble not interrupting the doctors while explaining things to me like, I just always wanted to talk. I've learned to control that since then, obviously, but I'm still quite verbose now. <laughs> I'll talk so much that I'll even annoy myself sometimes, but I'm also, I'm more empathetic and importantly, I'm way less anxious. After your brain surgery, you say that you don't feel fear as you did before. So you got to explain that. The most notable change in my fear response is that I don't feel the same fear of my inevitable death. Like I used to hyperbolically fear my inevitable mortality. I would think about it every day. And despite not being a very fearful person before the surgery, I would go skydiving and piloting, but I could take safety precautions with that. Something about not having control over my inevitable mortality gave me a, a constant anxiety. That is all gone now. <laughs> so you don't have those catastrophic thoughts. That's amazing. And, and Dr. Really Holmes, <laughs> you know, with this type of surgery, you, you never are 100% sure what you're going to get. So are personality changes to be expected? Are you surprised with what Jody is, is describing? To some extent, um, it's not surprising, though the extent that Jody experienced it, I think, is a little bit unique to him in that his seizures themselves manifested as panic, as he was saying. So, you know, we removed the area of the brain where those seizures were coming from and those symptoms were coming from. And so in addition to that, he also has done great and he's been seizure free. And as he was saying, just that burden, you know, seizures can be really debilitating yep. for people. It's really anxiety and provoking because you don't, they're very unpredictable. So you don't know when they're gonna happen, who you're gonna be around, you may lose control of your behavior. And, and that's really concerning for patients, rightfully. And so being seizure free alleviates a lot of that burden and that also can help with you know, anxiety and, and changes after surgery. Yeah. Now Jody, despite those personality changes and feeling no fear, is it safe to say you have no regrets? Oh yeah, I mean, whenever I tell people about this, I, I, I jokingly add, I highly recommend the surgery. Like, <laughs> and, um, it's, it's like, I'm seizure free for almost four years now. I'm not taking any of those epilepsy medications, which can be, which can be quite debilitating. Yep. And so it's, it's almost a rebirth for me. I sometimes joke that I'm like an upgraded version of myself. The lesson is that you can't be an anxious person or an angry person. Those are not identities. Those are symptoms of health issues, mm -hmm. like mental health issues, but still health issues. And that mental illnesses are no more a part of who you are than any other illness. Like nobody identifies with appendicitis as part of their personality, right. but people identify with their anxiety. Right. And my message is that both come from a mechanical malfunction in a small part of ancient parts of our body that can be treated. Love that. Well, truly a mo that. modern medical miracle story. Mm -hmm. Thank you, you two, for coming on the show and sharing this great story. Just so glad that you're doing so well. And Dr. Holmes, you should be proud of such a great outcome. Mm -hmm.